So it's like the brain is borrowing a motif from innate immunity right. elsewhere in the body, body and saying, well, I can actually use this for my own gains over here. Right, right. That's actually crazy. Right? It's not a new type of immune cell because we already knew the microglia existed, but it's a state that the cell is in mm. that is very important for mitigating Alzheimer's. And we're honing in on what exactly that cell needs to be in order to help Alzheimer's not happen. Interesting, okay. Alzheimer's is an incredibly difficult disease. There used to be this thing called the amyloid hypothesis. Basically, there's a blockage that starts growing. Yeah. And then that's what impacts the brain activity. Yes. This growth of this blockage. Exactly. And now we're slowly shifting from there's this like protein blockage to there's might be an innate immune system in the brain that might be failing at doing its job. Right? Okay. So that's the shift that we're we're sort of in the middle of actually. Right now, as more and more papers come out. I think I know where this is going. Okay. A core study that came out in Nature, they've identified exactly the genes that are involved in this microglial state. And they've identified how those genes and those transcription factors create the downstream effect of mitigating Alzheimer's. So it's a top-down, all the way. They have a full map. Microglia are... A specific type of cell, they actually originate in the yolk sac, back when we're an embryo. Mm -hmm. um, they colonize the brain act before the blood-brain barrier forms. Oh, okay. okay? okay. So they get inside, and then the blood-brain barrier forms, and then they maintain themselves within the blood-brain barrier. Mm -hmm. So they don't, they don't come from the bone marrow like mm -hmm. other immune cells do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They focused on a transcription factor called PU1. Okay. A transcription factor is basically something that gets attached to the DNA mm -hmm. and promotes RNA polymerase, which is the factory that creates mRNA, to actually transcribe a gene. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how we get from gene to mRNA to protein. What they found was that when microglia were in the plaque environment, that plaque environment actively enforces low PU1. Uh, okay. It's very counterintuitive. Okay. okay. What, what, what they think is happening is when you don't have that transcription factor or when you don't have a lot of that transcription factor, the chromatin around that, that, that part sort of relaxes mm -hmm. and it exposes some of the genes. Mm -hmm. And one of these genes that it exposes is CD28, which is a neuroprotective master switch. Mm -hmm. You might recognize CD28 from our Nobel Prize videos. I was literally going to say. Okay, CD28 is the gene that sort of regulates... T cells from becoming normal T cells to T regulatory cells, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. So yeah. that same gene, that same part of the gene is also be having a role in microglia in the brain. That's actually crazy. Right? 